Howdy champs, my name is Mohedan People. Today I'm going to review uh, the high definition LED TV, the 32 inch Micromax LED TV. Uh, this is a demonstration where I'm trying to play a movie through the USB pen drive. It's one of the latest movies. Okay, now look at the box. We have a branding out here, nothing like anything. Micromax, high definition LED TV. It's a HD ready TV, people, 1366 to 768 pixels. Not a total HD, not a full HD TV. It has zero uh, bright dots LED panel. You know, if you have zero bright dots, you know, it doesn't ever hurt the eye. Very soothing to the eyes. Okay, USB into two. That's a good thing. Most TVs just have one USB slot. It also has two HDMI slots, which again is a good thing. Ultra low power consumption, people. 64 watts is the uh, the uh, wattage. I want to stand by as just one watts. Uh, and uh, the refresh rate is 60 hertz, which is not too great, seriously. Now look at the uh, USB demo out here. The moment you highlight the movie, it you know it starts to play a preview in the top right corner. I'm going to show that to you in a minute. I'm going to highlight the file, the movie file, and in a moment, in the top right corner, it's actually going to start to play uh, the preview. And once you say OK, it'll then fill up the entire screen and actually play the movie for you. Right. I'm going to say OK, and then uh, the movie is going to fill up the entire screen and play the movie. Now, uh, I've actually changed my rating after having used the television for the last two weeks from a compulsive buy to an average buy an okay buy so buy at your own risk at your own peril people there are there are you know certain uh, um, aberrations that I actually notice one of them being uh, unnatural skin tones people I you know initially I, I did not uh, see it so clearly so it was not so evident but uh, over the past two weeks I've actually noticed the skin tones are uh, really not that good. The video is very clear, people. But if, when you look at the skin tones, you know I'm not pleased at all. You know I look at my LG, which is one and a half years old, 26 inches. The skin tones are absolutely magnificent. So there's no way I'm going to compare it with my LG or with my uh, Samsung that uh, you know just went bad a few months back. Skin tones is a big problem. So although the video is very crisp, you know it just gives you the feel of a total HD, a full HD TV. Um, but the skin tones, you see, you know, shades of green and uh, yellow on, on, on the faces and uh, you know, ma makes you feel, I tried all the settings I could, I tried all the color corrections I could, uh, but I could not set it properly. So I have a feeling that, you know, there is a reason why you pay 59.99 for something which is uh, 23, 24, 25 with other brands. There has to be a reason. And the reason is that, you know, the color display, the color um, reproduction is not all that good. Most people can't see that, but I can. I have a hawk's eye, and I, I could notice that. Also, if you notice very carefully, the 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 you know the the panel, the LED panel, uh, looks cheap. The plastic looks cheap. The the remote uh, looks uh, quite cheap too. You know the body, uh, the build quality. This uh, you know they could have done so much better with that. You know the back cover of the remote comes off very easily. It's a very fragile kind of a remote. Very lightweight. Uh, not at all sturdy. I don't think so. The TV or the the remote is sturdy at all. The plastic looks cheap. The um, so I think the build quality needs a lot of improvement. Uh, a big big improvement out there. The sound quality again is uh, quite average. People, you know, I would rate it seven on ten. The video quality again seven on ten. This is the way the TV actually. You switch it on, the branding appears. Okay, then uh, it picks up the USB. It can play for you know. It can uh, show photographs, play um, move you know music movies and even text I don't know what text uh, exactly means out here I don't know do be acrobat files I really don't know okay I haven't tried that option out okay and as far as the USB player is concerned it cannot play certain MKV files so big thumbs down there people although it played most of the video formats but uh, there was one movie that actually is you know it's a big MKV movie it plays on my one and a half year old LG TV but doesn't play on the Macromax TV so how good is that that's that, that's not at all good okay so uh, although the video crispness is there but the skin tones are poor and that take you know that uh, spoils the whole show um, the sound is average the build quality of the TV and the remote is poor absolutely poor I mean there's no doubt doubt about that they should improve the in that area a lot uh, but then uh, 
paying 15999 there are not too many people going to complain you know it won't have the glamour looks or the glam looks of a lg or a samsung or a or, you know a sony or, or a philips etc okay so you you buy at your own risk people buy at your own peril i'm dropping my rating from a 4.5 to a 3 out of 5 so um, you decide whether you would want to go in for you know if i were to uh, probably buy it again for the same cost or maybe you i probably might not you know i'm not too sure i would want to buy it uh, having dropped my rating from 4.5 to just 3 because the poor skin tones poor uh, build quality uh, and the usb player defects etc